I know who I am, but from time to time I lost it. I mean, I stand up, I forget. You see? <coughs> yesterday I remember saying something. I think it was yesterday. I'm not good like that, no? But if you've heard it before, then hear it again. Hmm? <laughs> I said something like this that I am. No? I am before the idea that I could uh, lose or forget myself or that I needed to remember myself was believed, learned or believed. Again I say it, I am, I am, we are, I am. Before the concept that I need to remember myself, or that I could forget myself, was believed. I am. Hmm? So when you think, yeah, but I have to remember myself, and so on, this is something we learned. We learned to lie. Uh, you are always yourself. When we develop an idea of that we are just our conditioning, or programming, or something, or beliefs, or fantasies, then already something is not flowing in us. You see? Just like if you feel sick, you don't need a doctor to tell you, I think you're sick. You kind of know something is not sitting right. Hmm? Now, I know who I am, but from time to time I lose it. And the thought came that I'm cuckoo, means that I'm, you're crazy. I mean, I'm crazy. Why? Because all I want is God and God's presence. Mm. I have no one with whom I can share some deep inside questions that arises. I know that I am not the body, not thoughts. Everything is God's work. If I know I am not the body, I am not thought. Mm. Everything is the Supreme's work. Everything. And I am just a part of it. I didn't want anything, no thing, no relationships. Then you're holding your eye. You're holding an eye. I did I did not want anything, no really I you see. Didn't want those things, but you still hold the eye. And this became separation. And that's why you say you feel that you are part of the big thing. Because you had proportion, you had an eye. Then a part means I have a body. It's only a part of the great body. So these are the subtle concepts, you know, and uh, they are just uh, we they're unavoidable in the beginning like that. But therein lies your feeling of separation. You see, hmm? that's how the sense of separation came like that, and it is sustained like that. How to undo this? Thing, yeah. First, begin to understand. Aha! Yes, yes, I can see. I can see it now. Like this, because you say, and Andre, all I want is God and God's presence. You see, but if you are without I, you are God and God's presence. If there was not this feeling, if I, you know, I didn't want any relationship. I don't want anything, and we feel good. I don't want this, but you still want I. And this I feels like separation, because it goes back. I'm a person. I'm a body. I'm you know. I'm a good person. I don't want anything, you know. But you've not lost I. This I is still personal. So when you the sense I is living as a person, the best thing for it is to bring it just to the state of I am, which is the presence. So from person to presence, that is called spirituality. Most the consciousness which we are. Hmm, in a way, it is, it is always here. Yeah? This is identified with the personal play. Believe that's what it is, and suffers it. Hmm? So the most, the most effort in spirituality is to shift the consciousness from the person again into presence, where you still feel a sense, I am, but it's not mixed with uh, 
intention and identity and so on. It becomes the pure weakness. That's the, that's the first. When you come to the state or the stage of I am, and then the rest becomes totally natural and simple for you. you see? Most effort is to get from the person. Almost everyone we speak in the world speak as and refer to themselves as and refer to you as person. That is the heaviest thing on this planet, is that we as consciousness are functioning only like person. I don't know if you see the mistake, you see. Out of all of this person come all this trouble. And yet, uh, the, poor, the person is only uh, a role that is played in consciousness, by consciousness. Hmm? And by talking about it like this, you see how subtle, how the subtleties happen. You see, like that. You are the sense I am is not person. You see. Again, now I'm reading this letter again now. So we listen now with what I've said to you. And hear the same letter again. You see? Please help me. I know who I am, but from time to time I lose it. And thoughts come that I am cuckoo. I'm crazy. Because all I want is God and God's presence. And I have no one with whom I can share some deep inside questions that arises. I know that I am not the body, not thoughts. Everything is God's work, everything. And I am just a part of it. I didn't want anything, no things, no relationships. You see? Then why would there be any trouble for someone like this? I only want to be with the Supreme. I only want to be with God and God's presence. I don't want objects, I don't want things and so on. You see? Why would there be trouble? You see? Please help me to find myself once and forever, you see. Because sometimes you feel I find it, I lose it. I find it, lose it. Find what what is the what is the offending uh, element? I. It doesn't seem like this I could be the thing. It what is, does the I suffer from? That is the thing we're thinking. But nobody suspects this I is the thing itself. Because it has registered itself as person. And the person is the factory for trouble. You see? Now, how are we going to move from this? You see, automatically, as understanding opens up, then misunderstanding is leaving also. I cannot say what I am, because it's not an object. I can say this is a piece of paper, this is a microphone, this is a speaker, this is a statue. But I cannot say what I am, because it's not an object. You see? I can only say what I am not. Now I gave example before, and on many occasions I say, if we take the example of a, a sword or a knife that can cut so many things, but it cannot cut itself, because it is one thing. It doesn't matter how sharp when you make it, Razor sharp, it cannot it cannot cut itself because it's one whole unity or a scale that can weigh many things, but it cannot weigh itself because it is itself. Or the eyes that can see everything, many objects, but they cannot see themselves directly. You see? You are also like that. You are one. You cannot see yourself. You see? Not in that way. You can only see your idea of who you are, but yourself you cannot see. You can only be. You cannot see it phenomenally like that. So this is a misunderstanding of the thing I can know myself. I say you cannot know yourself as one thing knowing another thing. It's not like that. Hmm? I gave example growing up in Jamaica, you know, playing on the street, little boys playing at the back street, and we met some tourists who were coming along, and uh, one lady of the group, she was saying to us, "You live in paradise. You live in paradise. 
Yeah? We don't know what she's talking about. We don't know what she's talking about. You see? But we knew that she was meaning something nice. Because she's going, you live in paradise. In fact, so, oh, thank you. But we don't know what they're talking. Hmm? So only many years after, when I traveled around, uh, and then after many years, going back to Jamaica now, mm, as a teenager, no? I was coming into my town. And when we opened up this view, I said, this is paradise. You see? Well, you need contrast. You need some contrast to have some sense of what something is. You cannot know something is good if you don't know what bad is. So we have to have this contrast. Hmm? So in a way, by knowing what I am not, at the same time, I know what I am, but I cannot show. I know that everything that is seen, I cannot be that, essentially. But the great paradox of life, at some point you come to see, I am also all of this. And beyond all of this. But at the first point, you must come to see, I am none of this, including this. When the false is exposed and removed, you don't have to go and find the real. The real is unveiled. It's not somewhere else, it's always here. Hmm? What is a great thing for a human being to discover? That I don't have to make myself. I can create many roles, play many parts. But still, I am the unchanging. This is great discovery. 